Hello, Tatum here. Thanks for joining me for this hard upper body strength workout with cardio hit. I'm guessing that you haven't done a follow along workout quite like this one. We'll exhaust the muscles of the back, chest, biceps, triceps, and shoulders. No muscle will be left behind. Give it a try. Let me know what you think about it. Now grab a variety of dumbbells, an exercise band, and a stability ball if you have one. Follow me and let's get to it. All right, hello, hello, Tatum here. Thank you for joining me today. I have a 45 minute upper body workout. That's right, full upper body. We're going to hit it all from biceps, shoulders, triceps to chest and back and cardio. It's in here for your equipment today. I have for reference five pounds, 10 pounds, 20 pounds. All right, I'm also going to be using a band and a stability ball. So grab your equipment. You need some equipment today. The ball is not necessary. Uh, if you don't have a band, you might get by with a beach towel today, okay? So you can also do that, but we gotta get warmed up. So let's go ahead. We're gonna start with hands on our shoulders and we're gonna bring it in for a little kiss and out. There you go, touch and release. Pull back with those, kind of pinch your shoulder blades together, then bring it around and kiss those elbows. That's it, right here. Let's stay here for a few seconds and then we'll switch it up. All right, we're also gonna move to the floor on a bunch of this today. Let's go ahead and circle it up and around now. Big circles with those elbows. There you go, up and around. Nice work. Try to touch those elbows together. Here you go, Ooh, feels good. <laughs> feels like work today. That's not a good sign. Let's reverse that same movement, kissing the elbows, reaching back. Big, large movements, as much as you can do with those hands on the shoulders. There you go, Whew. up and over. Good job, let's press down and up right here. I kind of do a pulse at the top and the bottom, pushing back just a little bit further. Here it is from the side, there you go. Now, without that pulse, let's just push. There you go, alternate. That's it, feels good. Don't go too far, but just enough that you feel a little sticky there. You just wanna go past that point where you wanna stop, just a small bit. There you go, give me two bumps. I want you to reach back with those elbows and then I want the palms out, tops of the hands together and a good rounded back. You can even drop that chin. Then two pumps and round, good. Two and out, good job. Give me a few more here and we may go to the floor just to get really warmed up and ready for this workout. We are gonna progress through my style, the way that I like to do it. I hope that you like it too. Please remember at the end of this video to, or sometime during this video if you're enjoying it, to give us two, a thumbs up and to uh, comment, okay? And share it with a friend. Let's come on down to the floor here. Let's start with a scorpion, arms out. We're gonna rotate here. You can lay your head down into that shoulder and chest. If you want, reach up. We're not gonna hold it for too long. We're gonna move today on this intro here. Our warm up, good, side to side. Woo, give me one more. Reach, great job, we have time. Lay down on your side, knees bent, arms together. I'm gonna have you bring your thumb up and around, down towards your bottom, trying to keep it on the floor. So open those hips and circle back around. If that thumb does not stay down, don't worry about it. Lift it up off the floor, do your best. Don't, over, uh, don't push it, okay? Good. Up and around, last one. Feels good. I'm gonna face the other direction so that you can kind of see this now, just in case you thought you were doing it wrong or you weren't real sure. Oh, but I'm not as good on this side. Bring it around. Rotate thumb on the floor if you're there. Try it out, open the hips. Slide around and back, good. Last one. Everyone loves this one at the gym. Everybody loves this one. Oh, awesome job, all right, let's come on up. Check out the time, we have 56 seconds here. Let's go ahead, add some low jacks in, tap overhead with those arms, bring them high and wide, all right? We wanna exaggerate this movement, get that heart rate up. We will bring it up here if you're ready. In five, four, Three, two, and one. Here we go, jumping jacks high if you're there or stay low. I'm gonna move forward and back just to have a little fun. Get a little excited here. <laughs> All right. Do whatever you gotta do to put that smile on your face and make it fun. <laughs> 
All right, five seconds here. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, great job. We're gonna get started. Grab a sip of water. We have 10 seconds here. We are gonna start with some isolated work. So just bear with me, not really exciting stuff, but something that we need to do to get started. So if you have a wall here, I'd like you to find it. Angle your feet out, forearms against the wall, not forearms, sorry, upper arm. And we're gonna push the elbows into the wall and back, okay? So push out, pinch those shoulder blades together and find yourself back at the wall. Into the elbows and then those upper arms are flat against the wall. Push them off with the elbows and back, good. Just squeeze, three, two, and one. Great job, we're gonna take our ball we're gonna step back and bring it overhead. So right here, step back, bring it right up overhead. Here we go. Alternate with me here, all the way up. You can put a little pressure around it with your hands, so squeeze just a bit. There you go, makes it a little tougher. If you don't have that ball today, keep working, everyone who has a ball. If you don't have a ball, take your weights here and just bring them up overhead for me, okay, for today. So you have a choice of the ball or using weights straight up overhead, back down with control. Three, two, and one. Great job, all right. I'm gonna keep, let's see, I'm gonna go to tens on this one, just for reference. Find about a 90 degree bend with that elbow, keep those elbows stuck at your side. We're just gonna open up wide. Again, kind of squeezing those shoulder blades folding them in, there you go, back and forth, you got it. Start light on this, okay? Don't go too heavy, don't go too heavy. We have two sets here, just stay with me. We're gonna hit some cardio that's gonna get us warmed up, get the entire body warm, really also the upper body, and then we'll move into our main set. Three, two, and one, woo, I felt that. Did you feel that? All right. Let's go back to the wall. What we're doing is just activating some of these muscles today that will help us feel the rest of this workout and work more efficiently. Here we go, upper arms against the wall, push into the elbows. If you don't have a wall nearby that you can use, keep working at the wall if you're there. Find yourself at the ground, you can do the same thing. Push into those elbows, back down. So your upper arms are against the floor. You're gonna pull, push into those elbows and find yourself back at the floor. There you go. Lots of options today. I'm in a coachy mood. You're probably going to see me giving you a lot of things to do today. <laughs> That's a rest. Good job. All right. I'm going to go with my ball and reach overhead. You can even stand here and reach. Remember, you can use two dumbbells also to activate there. Here we go. Step back and reach. Here you go. Put some pressure around the ball if you're using the ball. That's it, good work. Really get those arms up over your head. Call me out if it's not there. Feels like it is or it may not be. <laughs> All right, we got it. Nice and slow and controlled. Not everybody likes to start out this way. Three, two, and one, rest. All right, external rotation here out to the side. I'm gonna grab my tens. Find your 90 degree bend in your elbows. Slow and controlled, no swinging. Just open up, squeeze. Here you go. That's it. Nice work. Control it. Go light. Lighter is better on this, okay, if you need to. 12 seconds to work here. We'll have a little rest. We're gonna go into some cardio. Three, two, and one, nice work, weights down. Grab a sip of water. I wanna show you our next three exercises and then we're gonna hit it hard for just a few rounds. All right, we're gonna work 30 seconds, 45 seconds, and then a minute here, each exercise being different. So number one, 30, then number two, 45, number three, uh, a minute. Okay, we have plank shoulder taps with jacks. This is not an easy one, let me show you, only because it's coordination, so you're gonna tap, your shoulders and you're gonna add a, a jumping jack in there, okay? A plank jack, if you want. If that's tough, step out, maybe in tap, okay? Try to figure that one out. I just, a lot of my clients get mixed up on it. We'll do well. We're gonna do a burpee chest to ground, okay? So that's all the way down if you're there. 
up and reach, but you can step it out. So you can come down, out, out, in, in, and up, all right? And then we have a punch high to low rotate. So we're gonna punch high, middle, high, middle. Three, two, and one. Here we go, we got those plank shoulder taps. Watch me here, tap and jump, come back to the center, tap and jump, center. Tap, tap, add the jump, okay, if you're there. If not, find your tap, and then maybe a jump, okay? There's all kinds of ways to modify and fit both of them in. You do you, modify, find your challenge there. I'm gonna continue to show you little things that you can do, and you'll learn them and get used to them. Rest. All right, actually, no rest. We're gonna keep moving. We're going in that burpee. 45 seconds, down and up. If you want, take it down, walk it out. Find a kneeling push-up, walk it in and then reach, okay? Here you go. We can do this, Woo! We have two rounds of this, bring the heart rate up. Your rest will come after our punches when we get through these three exercises. Oh, good, 13 seconds, do your best. We're starting out high and strong today. We're gonna wake up, get moving. Woo, three seconds, give me one more. All right, good job. Here we go. One minute of work. High, so I think about punching face, body. Face, body, good. Up, down, up, down, okay? You can even go lower. Maybe you wanna go high, low. I don't care, move. All right, have some fun with it. And move, Whew. Whose heart rate is up? Who feels awake? <laughs> I know I'm on fire already. We're halfway. Keep it moving. That's it. You can drop down even lower. Get into a little bend there, okay? That's it. Come on. Eight seconds. Three. Two and one, woo! All right, 30 seconds, take it, breathe, find your breath, grab a sip of water. We're doing that same round one more time. I'll have this rubbed up. I'm already feeling it. Endorphins are kicking in, no. I feel good. I hope you do too. We'll move into our weights after this bow. Get ready to go in 10 seconds. All right, we're starting with those plank shoulder taps. I know it's a lot. Sometimes it's a lot to get that coordination. Just take it slow at first, okay? Three two, and one. Left shoulder taps. Find your shoulder taps. There you go. Now, tap left and jump it out. Good. Back to the center. Jump. Center. All right? So every time I tap my shoulder, those legs are out wide. When I'm in, my feet and arms are down. There you go. Come on. You got it. Keep those hips level to the floor. Draw in and brace. I want you really tight through this movement. There you go. I don't want you bouncing around real crazy and all over. Protect those shoulders. Nice work, you know what's next. Here we go, we can do it, burpee. <laughs> Come on, Woo. here you go. Just pace yourself, it's 45 seconds of work here. Walk it out, find an incline. Good, come on. Woo, that's it. Chest and shoulders and core, they're gonna be ready for this one and we need our core because I have us using the ball for a lot of this upper body work today. That's right. <sighs> Woo. There you go, 10 seconds. You will see this at the end. Again, when we're good and tired. Three, two, and one. All right, here we go. High, middle, high, middle, cross, up, middle, cross, middle, there you go. You can go. Face, body, face, body. Whatever you want. I'm a real visual person. So I'm either somebody in my mind or I'm moving an object, punching an object. Nobody, nobody in particular. <laughs> Woo, not today, no, I'm just kidding. We're fine. High, middle, face, body. That's it. If you want, 18 seconds, switch it up. High, 
low, high, low, or ground, okay? Boom, good. Have some fun. Mix it up, five seconds. Three, two, and one, rest. All right, good job. All right, Whew. I feel good now. I feel like I'm ready to go, don't you? I think we've done it all. All right, we need to set up for our main set now. I'm super excited, I feel pumped, I feel ready to go. I hope you do too. We need to have this ball nearby as we're gonna be using it a couple times in this set. If you don't have a ball, you're gonna be at the floor working, okay? So I have an incline chest press here at an incline. If you don't have the ball for that incline or an incline bench, you're gonna take a uh, kind of supinated, you're gonna turn those palms towards you and um, out of the way here, we're gonna just press up over the shoulders and down, okay? Right here like this. This will help kind of get into that upper chest a little bit without the incline, all right? So you'll be doing that. And then on our pullovers on the ball, here's your pullover with two dumbbells. Okay, I'm gonna be on the ball. If you want to raise your hips as I have, my glutes are turned on and core with that, you could do this pullover from here, okay? Here we go, find your ball. I'm gonna use 20s for this incline chest press. We need to get going. So bottom down, okay, on this one. Head and shoulders still on the ball. Here we go, I'm gonna walk it down. And we're pressing, there we go. Bottom down, head and chest on. We're at this angle here for that upper chest and shoulders. If you have an incline bench at home, feel free to use it. This is just one way to work a different angle at home without a bench. But if you have it, use it. I know I do. If anybody wants to see a bench workout, I haven't brought it out in a while, let me know. I will get you one. I love to use my bench. <laughs> love to use my barbell too, if anybody wants a barbell workout. All right, there we go. We're gonna go into, stay on your ball. All right, we're gonna do pullovers. I'm gonna grab my tins for reference. Keep them close by. To get on the ball, just in case you haven't, and you need to be careful, you wanna walk out, okay, from a seated position. Here we go. With two weights, hips up, glutes on, bracing the core. We're gonna pull over. I want you to squeeze under the armpits. I want you to find the small range of motion from overhead to about your eyes or nose or forehead where you still feel contraction under the armpit. If you go too far, you'll feel it relax and give. So don't go that far, shorten it up just a bit. Squeeze the glutes, keep the hips up. There's a lot going on with the ball. Feel free to take it to the floor if it's just too much today. There we go. Come on, pull it over, squeeze. There you go. Woo! Three, two, and one. And again, I'm staying with my ball. If you don't have a ball, you're at the floor on this one. All right, we're gonna go into a chest press alternating or really reciprocal. So come out again with the head and shoulders on. Here we go. We're gonna bring our right arm down. We're gonna cross in the middle. This is tough from a ball. Take it to the floor. If you're just getting started with the ball, this is gonna be really tough. We have to tighten up that core. We really have to brace and draw in. We have to really squeeze those glutes, press the feet into the floor and move slowly because our upper body is now moving on the ball a little bit. So we need to be careful. There you go, that's it. They cross in the middle. It's not a single arm. There's, they're both moving at the same time in opposite directions. That's it, keep it going, come on. Woo, we got it. Keep those hips up, three, two, and one, if that was really tough on the ball, find the floor, stay safe. We have pull downs. This is where our band comes into play or a towel if you have one. I'm gonna have you go kneeling here. Kneeling, reach overhead. I want you to pretend you're gonna rip your towel apart if you have a towel or pull the band apart here with good tension, pull down in front. The whole time I want you squeezing those glutes. Glutes are on. I want you to draw in with the stomach, with a uh, belly button, really tight core here, okay? Because we're working our lats. If we're doing a pull up, we're gonna be doing the same thing, okay? When you're doing a pull up, it's so hard because there's so much core that has to be activated so that you don't swing around too much, that you can really get up there to the bar. So um, 
on this, I want you to think about that. We're just squeezing. Glutes on, abs on. There you go. Three, two, and one. Rest. All right. No rest. No. There is 15 seconds, but we're going back to that incline chest press. We just did a pull. We're doing this push pull. So we're not going to rest a whole lot. Here we go. Three, two, and one. Back to that incline chest press. Remember, hips are down. Shoulders and chest, uh, shoulders and for, uh, ooh, hello, head on the ball. I feel like I have so much to tell you today. <laughs> there we go. Now, if you're at the floor, remember you're gonna rotate those wrists and you're gonna press this direction woo, with those hands facing you. There you go. That's it. Push, you got it. Remember, we're staying with the ball in our second one, so don't let it go. Get those hips down a little bit more. If you feel unstable or a little worried about this ball, you can put it into the corner of a wall. Three, two, and one. Or if you have a handy friend nearby that can help you out, that's great. Pullovers, again, I'm gonna use my tens, and I'm gonna stay on the ball for this. It's a little harder, a lot more core involved, but you can go to the floor, raise those hips and pull over like I showed you earlier. Here we go. Hips up always on the ball. Squeeze those glutes. Pull over, nice and slow and controlled. Less is more here. You've got to protect those shoulders. You need to know whether you have the range or not. So don't go too heavy. Squeeze under those armpits as you pull over. Don't go too far. Make sure you have contraction. You need time under tension for results. So make sure that you're there, that you're not resting each time. Although a little rest is okay. Try to stay under contraction the entire 45 seconds. It's a long 45 seconds. If you wanna take it to 30, you can. Three, two, and one. Awesome job, chest press. I'm going back to my 20s. All right, we're, I'm going to alternate this press. Remember, you can just press a regular chest press here if you want with the hips up, head, shoulders on. So let's start here, find our balance with that press. If you're at the floor, you'll, you'll be fine to, to alternate them here. Remember, they are traveling. They're both traveling up and down, just opposite directions. They cross in the middle. Oh man, it's tough. And it's really tough if you're on the ball because you have to slow down to keep your balance. All right, glutes should be fully on on this one. There you go. Woo, feel the shakiness. Draw it in, draw the navel in. We have to be solid through our core to keep our balance and stay on the ball. There you go, three, two, and one, rest. Oh my goodness, great job. Put those weights down, keep everything nearby. We're gonna go with that kneeling pull down here. Something I really love, if you're doing pull downs at the gym with a machine, cable machine, Try it from a kneeling position. You'll like it. It'll bring that core into play. Here we go. Squeeze those glutes. Draw the belly button in. Oh, who's tired? Pull apart and down. Right in front to the upper chest here. Get some tension on the band. We don't have to pull it way apart. We just need some good tension. So with the towel, you're going to pretend to be pulling it apart. You're gonna have good isometric tension there, okay? That's fine. It may not move the towel, right? That's okay. You're gonna feel it, trust me. There we go. Keep pulling down, right in front. Don't forget the glutes, squeeze them. Draw in with the belly, so as we let it go, we're focused on all what we're feeling in our lats. Three, two, and one, rest. All right, one more round. Who has that sweat going? Who's feeling it? Give me a thumbs up if you are. All right, here we go. Incline, last round, you can do it. We'll move into arms, a little bit more arms, and then back to cardio. Woo -hoo -hoo. We have to modify then. Here we go, hips down. There you go, head and shoulders on the ball. Just a slight incline here. If it's tougher for you, it should be. All right, our shoulders and upper chest are in here more especially those shoulders, and they're feeling the work. That's it, come on. Oh, 20 seconds of work to go. Find your breath. Make sure you're breathing. Inhale, exhale as you push. Come on, 10 seconds. Give me a couple more here. 
push, you got it. Five, four, three, two, and one. Woo, nice work. Weighted pullovers, I'm gonna grab my tens here. We're gonna walk it back out, head and shoulders on, hips are still up. It's a lot of work on the core. If, you're start, if your core is starting to tire out, find the floor. Here we go. Hips and glutes on, or up. Here you go. And again, this is, this is very core intensive. Find the floor if you're losing the stability on the ball. If you're unable to stabilize, it's time to go to the floor. You don't wanna get hurt. You don't wanna fall with the weights over your head. Please, no. Nobody's judging you. Don't be hard on yourself. If you did two sets with it, yes. You know, be proud of that. Don't think about the third set. Think about what you did do. There you go. Remember on this pullover, watch your range. You wanna feel it the whole entire way. I feel it, I feel it. Three, two, and one. Good, back with your dumbbells. I'm gonna keep my 20s. It's hard at this point. You may find that you want lighter weight. I didn't put my other weights out here, so I'm stuck. <laughs> here we go. Oh. <laughs> Three, two, and one. Make sure the head and shoulders are on the ball. Glutes really must be on. All right, abs as well, draw in, brace. Cross in the center. Oh, I'm wobbling a little bit more this time. Spread those feet a little wider if you need to. You have to move slow, that's what makes this so hard. It slows you down. Just come out of it, find some lighter weight or go to the floor. You're still working, that's all that matters. We're still working, if you have to modify, you're still getting stronger because you're still working. So modify and keep working, please. Unless you're just getting started. I have to talk to my people just getting started. You can do two sets and forget the third. All right, that's a rest. Find that man. We can finally put that ball away. Move my weights over a bit here. Woo. Who, <laughs> who feels this? All right, here we go. Find your knees. I want tension on that band. I want you to pull it apart just a bit, down towards the upper chest. There you go. Squeeze the glutes now. Did you forget? I forgot. All right, squeeze. Draw the belly button in and up. Good, inhale as you come up. Exhale as you pull down. Nice work. Oh, there you go. Come on, you can do this. Keep that tension going. I know it's tough but you're almost there. Focus on your breath. Breathe out, breathe in. Breathe out, breathe in. There you go, three, two, and one. Rest, yes, shake it out. We have a minute's rest here. Grab a sip of water. Woo, <laughs> this is an upper body, okay? This is the upper body feeling good. All right, all right. We're going to biceps, triceps, and some core, okay? Some ab work. So now I'm gonna be pulling out my fives for this one and my tens, okay? Fives and tens for reference. You may need more or less, okay? Let's move our ball out of the way here and we'll get started. We have 30 seconds. Our first exercise is gonna be a curl with a reverse press here. You don't have to go all the way up if you're not there, just get where you can and then release. On our next one for our triceps, I'm super excited about this. I do this one at the gym with some of my clients. We're gonna bend over and we're just gonna pulse with those palms down and then we're gonna come actually, yes, for palms down I wanna do today. Then we're gonna go out side to side as well, okay? Those are gonna be our two exercises with a um, sit up in there. Here we go. Let's get those curls in. We're gonna drag it back into a bicep drag. Come down, curl, press up in front, okay? Drag it up, down, curl, and reset. Good, drag, you're just pulling it back and up and in. You should feel your biceps there. Curl, press down, good, drag, release back down to curl, reverse press down. Nice work, all right. Just like that, we're gonna grab our other weights. I want us to bend over with a nice flat back. Palms are down and you're just gonna pulse it back here, okay? You don't even have to use weight to feel this, all right? Right here. Go ahead with me at 15 seconds. We're gonna bring it 
side to side, okay? I'll show you that when we get there. Here we go, just keep pulsing. Woo, here we go. Side to side, so out here, okay? In, in, out and in. Touch your thighs and then out. Small movements, but keep them up, keep them up. You can do it. Woo, -hoo -hoo. there we go. Three, two, and one. Holy moly, okay. Here we go, let's come down. We have our modified V up. We're gonna touch outside, center, outside. All right, three, two, and one. Here we go, touch, center, touch, center. If that hurts your back, don't do it. Keep the feet down, chop center, chop right, center, left, okay? Modify with that one, you got it, let's work. Keep moving. That's it. We just have two rounds of this today. We're going back to our cardio. Three, two, and one. Nice work. I know everybody loves their cardio, so we're gonna add it in. Now, if you're not into the cardio today because you're going for a long run or you've done that, here we go. Drag and pull back, kind of a curl drag here, okay? And that bicep, curl, reverse press down. Here we go, drag it back and up, squeeze, curl, Press down, good. Drag and squeeze, good, you got it. Curl, press. Drag into those biceps, whoa. Curl and press, good job. Release, curl and press, nice work. All right, back into those triceps for me. Here we go. I'll try to face you, maybe this, you can see it a little bit better. Right here, there you go. <laughs> All right, 30 seconds. Hold them up there, Paul. Sometimes I do this from a bench, laying down on my stomach. You could use your ball and work from there too, supported. That's it, come on. Halfway, now out and in, out and in from the side. Slide it in and out. That's it, keep it high, keep it high. Woo, there you go, come on. Three, two, and one, back to the core here, okay? Back to your core. Put my weights away. Keep your feet down if you need to and crunch up, it's okay. Here we go. Touch, center, left, okay? Back and forth. That's it, a little modified V up here, coming up onto that tailbone. If that hurts, stay with those feet down, always. Don't. Work through pain. There you go, eight seconds. We're gonna hit our cardio. Five, four, three, two, and one. Rock it up, grab a sip of water. All right, so next one. We're going back to that beginning of cardio, okay? Where we did 30, 45 a minute. Can you remember what we did? We did the plank shoulder taps with the jack. We did the burpees, okay? I'm gonna go chest to ground again. Feel free to just either walk or jump it out and stay high with it, okay? And then we went into those cross punches, okay? You got this. We're gonna do a few rounds here, a couple rounds. We have 20 seconds of rest here. Now, here's the deal. Maybe you wanted to spend more time on biceps and triceps. Forget this part then. Go back, isolate, do those same three exercises we did. It's perfectly fine, all right? Make it your own here. If you're wanting to get revved up, then let's sweat on some more before we leave here today. Join me with this. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Plank shoulder tabs. Find your high plank. Here we go. Shoulder to shoulder. <laughs> I'll go here, tap it out, all right? Let me turn this way. Can't make up my mind. <laughs> there we go. Tap and jump, tap and jump. Yes, it takes a little coordination. Do your best, tighten up, that's it. Good, jump it out. And when you cross over and tap, if it's too much, stay low with it. Tap and touch, tap and touch. Three, two, and one. Right into those burpees, here we go. Up and down, I'm gonna go chest. Since we didn't do any push-ups in our main set today, I'm gonna go ahead and put them there. Put them right here, I mean. <laughs> Here we go, jump, woo, down, up, and reach. All right, we got it. Keep moving. 45 seconds on this one. 
down, chest to ground if you're there. Woo! I'm feeling these burpees today. How about you? All right, eight seconds. Woo! Three, two, <laughs> and one. All right, let's punch it out. I'm gonna go high, middle, high, middle. That's it. Head, body, head, body. For me, those heads are high because I'm short. <laughs> All right. Remember, this one's a minute long. Do your best. Just move for me. If you want to stay here and cross, you can, okay? Have fun with it. Make it your own. Most of you are doing workouts from home and playing with different workouts. So take something you enjoy. Have fun with it. Good. 15 seconds. Good. Seven, come on. We have one more round, but we're gonna get a little rest here. Three, two, and one. 30 seconds. Oh, you're doing awesome. We just have one more round, we get to cool down. So high five to you. This is a little bit longer than what we're used to. Just a little, not much. It's good work. We always go with a five minute warm up, typically roughly five minute warm up and cool down. So excited about five minutes of good exercise. Let me know what you think. Please send me a comment, like it. Give us a thumbs up if you like it. All right, here we go. Plank, shoulder taps. Here we go. Tap it out, jump it out. Okay, cross the body. You got it. Good job. Now, in order to kind of keep your stability here and coordination and move, we have to tighten up. So squeeze those glutes. Draw the belly button in towards the spine. You can do it. Woo! Here we go. Three, two, and one. All right, I'm just gonna move right into it. Here we go. I'm gonna start from the floor. <laughs> Burpees. I'm gonna stick with the floor because that's what I chose. Kind of wish I had chosen the no ground to put, ground to chest, or chest to ground. Goodness, Tatum. This is what happens when oxygen leaves the brain and heads to your limbs and the rest of the body. 20 seconds. Here you go. Come on. Let's do it. Push. You can do it. 12 seconds. We just have one more exercise today. We can get through it. This one's the toughest one right here. Three, two, and one. Here we go. High, middle. High, middle. That's it. Good. Up. There you go. We got it. That's it, come on. Last minute of work, and we're already down to 35 seconds. That's it. If you've made it this far, you can do this. Don't let your mind take over, okay? Keep positive. 25 seconds. Fifteen. Come on. Ten. Three, two, and one. <laughs> cool down, okay. All right, I'll take it. How about you? Five minutes here. All right, let's breathe. Oh. Let's just cool down. Let's bring those arms up with a big breath in through your nose. Let the belly rise in the chest. Exhale, blow it all out. Good, in and out. Good job. And again, in and out. Two more, in and out. The last one, I want us to hold our breath at the top. In. And out. 
great job. All right, let's just go ahead, circle here, shrug up and down and around. Let's bring that right ear to right shoulder, chin to chest, left ear to left shoulder. Back the same way you came, all the way. And again, let's work and back for the last one. Great job. Let's go ahead and interlace those fingers, round out in front, round that upper back, okay? Really round it out. Find that little cat position standing. Push away, chin to chest. God, feel that stretch. Reach as far as you can. Let's bring those arms left, left ear to left shoulder. Bring it right, right ear to right shoulder. Good. Bring it back to center, round out chin to chest. Again, reach as far as you can. Bring it up overhead and then a slight back bend if you're there. Just a little bit, not too far. Good, let it go. Nice work. Let's interlace those fingers, those arms, okay? Crisscross them over. So bring them around each other here. Arms out in front, push away and up. Bring the chin back and level with the floor. Eagle arms, I believe this is called in yoga. <laughs> My yoga instructor does this, it feels so good. Sometimes I forget about it. So a lot of great stretches to do in yoga. If you're not doing your stretching, find an instructor, find a class, find someone that you can follow. That'll get you stretching a couple days a week here. Good, reach and press out. Good, let's interlace, let's cross here the other direction. Palms together, push them together, push out and up. I keep wanting to go into leg stretches, but we really didn't do legs today. <laughs> Make sure I stay here. All right, good. Feel that stretch, feels so good. All right, let's come down to the floor here. We'll do another one. Let's go ahead. I want you to reach up towards the ceiling, get a good rotation through the spine. Bring that arm down and under, swoop it under, thread the needle, bring your temple down to the floor, reach overhead, press each arm or hand into the floor. Oh, and breathe. Good, gently bring that top arm back in. Bring the other arm out. Reach up one more time for me. Get a little twist. Nice work. Other side, reach up with that right arm or left arm. Make sure it's the other arm. <laughs> Bring it under, thread the needle, temple to floor. Reach out overhead with that arm. Really press each arm and hand into the floor. Find your breath. Good, bring that top arm in gently. Bring the other one out. Let's go ahead and walk the hands out in front. Shoot back into child's pose, but stick those fingers to the floor. Pull out of those lats, okay? Feel that stretch from under the armpit down. There you go, lean back. Now shoot that bottom toward the ceiling. We don't have much time this time. Our chest, our chin finds the floor in our chest if we're there. Good, walk it in, shoot back, bring those arms around, palms up, forehead to floor. Take two big breaths. All right, that is it today. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this upper body workout. I per personally love a total body or lower body, so I'm always looking at ways to make my upper body more exciting with added cardio. Sometimes there's a little added leg. Let me know what you thought of, the, um, thought of this workout. 
and how it went for you. Thank you so much for joining me. I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye-bye.